Hi, I'm Nerida Conway. Welcome to ChefMasterclasses.com. I'm here in the Yarra Valley today in Victoria at La Carly Restaurant, which is in the heart of de Bordelais' beautiful winery here. And this is Leanne de Bordelais, who you all know and love by now. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Nerida. What's happening here in the winery at the moment from your point of view? Chaos. <laughs> Complete chaos, <laughs> but there's a bit of order yeah. in it. Uh, grapes are coming in left, right and centre, but that's the nature of the yeah, Where of do they game. come from? Uh, mainly from the Yarra Valley, but yeah. we also bring in fruit from our King Valley property uh, as well. Yeah. And it's yeah, it's coming in at all hours of the night. Wow. Yeah, time to wear earplugs. Oh gosh. Yeah. And your husband Steve Weber, the winemaker here, mm. what's his schedule like at the moment? Uh, we're like ships in the night at the moment. Mm. He's uh, up at three o'clock in the morning, and then often asleep on the couch at about eight o'clock at night and that's where he stays until he gets up at three o'clock oh. in the morning again. See I just don't think people fully understand the love and the blood sweat and tears that kind yeah. of go into this yes you know as you as you kind of open the bottle and pour it out and just mm. throw it back mm. it just it's just wonderful to sort of I guess be mindful of how much effort. Well that's right I think um, basically within two months we are taking in all the fruit that we've spent the whole year growing and it's the decisions that are made now yeah. um, that really you know set it up for what ends up in the bottle. Yeah it's amazing. Mm. The reason why I asked Leanne to come here today was because we've had a, an email from one of our viewers asking about a degustation with an Italian twist and Italian theme mm -hmm. that is matched to wines that you can actually do at home. Now, part of that is that, you know, I mean, I suppose a degustation can be quite daunting for a lot of people. Yes. So we've asked Adam, the chef from here, to do four courses for us, which he's done. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. And they're actually very easy to do at home. So there's nothing too scary. But I guess we also wanted beautiful wines that complement all of the dishes, but also ne not necessarily wines that are going to be a couple of hundred dollars per bottle. Oh, absolutely. Because that's yes. the thing, when you're having four of them, mm -hmm. times a dinner party of eight people. Yeah, it all adds up. It all adds up and suddenly oh. you should have just come to La Carly for the dinner instead. Oh, well, they can, <laughs> they can still, still do can. that. <laughs> <laughs> so the first dish that Adam has created is a beautiful fresh herb salad with mm -hmm. some beautiful walnuts and some caramelised pear. Mm -hmm. And it's actually not too sickly sweet. Then he's done a beautiful quenelle of goat's cheese mousse Lovely. on top. Yes. Oh, yes. an aged balsamic vinegar. Mm. So good. So you've chosen this wine to match that course. I have. I think sparkling wine uh, seems to go so well with, uh, with goat's cheese. And because it is quite a fresh, zingy, sparkling wine, mm. I think with all the, 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 the herbs that are in the dish as well, it just goes beautifully. And I think it kicks the party off, doesn't it? Oh, it sure does. <laughs> I mean, you could also give them a glass of this when they arrive, couldn't you? Well, you and could. And keep it going? You, you can. Is and that what you would do? Well, yes. And I think there is something celebratory about starting with a glass of sparkling wine. Yeah. Mm. I try to make a habit of doing that wherever <laughs> possible. <laughs> so, Leanne, tell me why you chose this bottle of sparkling. Uh, this is the Rococo Blanc de Blanc. Mm -hmm. And sparkling wine always gets the party started. Oh, it sure does. And uh, I think just the fresh flavours in this go so well with uh, the goat's cheese and just with all the herbs that are, yeah. that are in the dish. Would you give them a glass of this as they walk in the door as Absolutely. well and then keep it going? Absolutely, yes. Right answer. <laughs> <laughs> now the second dish is like a second entree but it's mm. the pasta course. Yes. And it's homemade capoletti with uh, spinach and ricotta filling with a beautiful capery, lightly chilli flavoured mm seafood sauce with some prawns and some mussels. So good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so good. So this is what you selected for that dish. I did. This is the La OM Actor 3 Pinot Green Friends. Yes. And it's a, it's just um, a really lovely, sort of slightly fleshy, um, beautifully aromatic wine, which mm. cuts through the, the spice and the flavours that are in the and not too dish. fruity, so it won't no. overwhelm the seafood. No, no, not at all. Yeah, not at all. I love that one actually. Mm. Love it. Number three, the lamb meat course. Mm -hmm. Now this is a roast lamb rack with veggies, mm -hmm. and it's just simple, beautifully cooked. What's not to love? Mm. And what's not to love about this wine? <laughs> well, this one is from a single vineyard right. um, block, and it's the uh, our. We, we used to call it Reserve, but it's uh, our Section A8, mm. Syrah, 
and there is just something about Shiraz and lamb that is just beautiful together. I love it and I must say I tried this for the first time last night mm -hmm. and it's it's so savoury. So it is. It, to me it just it would go with something like that so beautifully without it being sort of the hero, do you know what I mean? It's... Oh, absolutely. And and it's not it's not a big full on mm. Shiraz. It's just it's restrained. Yeah. So it's not taking away Winner. from the from the uh, from the lamb at all. It's perfect, mm. perfect. All right, and for dessert, we've got Matt whipping up a chocolate orange type spectacular mm. moussey type dessert, which you'll have to check out. And again, you've matched this wine or a musket. Yeah, I have. This is the um, Chaux Liqueur, eight years barreled. And this barrel is barrel aged. And this is just a, such a lovely wine to, to finish off. Oh, yeah. Finish yum. off a meal. Uh, having it with the dessert and then even just having it with coffee oh, afterwards. Yum. This is almost yeah. like a dessert in itself. It is, it is. It's just so special, mm. isn't it? Well, I'm very, very excited about recreating this at home myself for some very lucky friends, I might add. <laughs> and these wines are all something that you just should have in your staple collection anyway because I think they're all so interchangeable and so great to pull out every time you want to mm. drink, basically. There's something to tick all the boxes here. So thank you so much for taking time out of your incredibly busy schedule. And um, My pleasure. And no. if you can find a spot to come and park here because it's just packed, get yourself down to Lakali. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually fascinating to see everyone in action at the moment, so. Yes, where you can hear tractors. Yeah, we can hear it all, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the way that's it is. That's the way it is. is. It's yes. a working winery. It is, and I think that's what people enjoy when they yeah. come out here. They can see everything that is happening that's in so the vineyard. That's so interesting, mm. so interesting. Anyway, thank you, Leanne. Thanks, Neruda.